What's going on guys, it's Bromley from Empire Barbell. And today we're carrying on, we're in episode three of our breakdown of Greg Knuckles 28 program Excel sheet. As I've said before, go ahead and go to his website. Don't go to Lift Vault, go to his website, put in your email, download the, uh, the template from Stronger by Science. It comes with a 14 page add-on that does a, goes into depth on each uh, individual program, who it's good for, why it works, what caution should be taken with it. So that information is really vital to this. We've already done uh, episodes one and two off of once a week bench and twice a week bench, going through beginner, intermediate, and advanced recommendations, picking apart the types of progressions he used, how he builds from one to the next. So now we're getting into the weeds. We're getting into three times a week. Now the trend we've already found with twice a week is that now we start to get into kind of a daily undulating periodization lean, which basically just means multiple sessions in a week. Each session is going to represent a different either percentage or threshold. DUP has kind of a broad, uh, a broad meaning. It can, the, it can mean a lot of different things as far as how you regulate the percentages. It just basically means you're in a different threshold each day of the week, and you tend to progress those thresholds across from week to week. So now we're also gonna start to see a bigger gap between the intermediate and advanced recommendations. A beginner three day a week program for the same lift, that's something like starting strength or grayscale LP or strong lifts. Uh, when you're newer, when you're a novice lifter, you have the capacity to train harder, uh, to do more hard work closer together, and you're going to have to uh, regulate jumps more consistently, more evenly. You make it jumps every few days in the same work threshold as opposed to every week or every several weeks. So that's really what separates beginners from advanced. So this is, is a nice little twist off DUP. Uh, and this is where we're gonna start to see Knuckles kind of blend some different established modes of programming. Something that's kind of unique, but kind of cool because it pulls from, from a few different already established progressions. So what we have three days a week, we have a 70% three by eight, a 75% three by six, and an 80% three by four. Now it looks like each day is a progression of the one before it, but that's actually not the case. You can look at this as a light, medium, and heavy day, and they progress on themselves down all the way through. So remember with DUP, with most multiple times a week programs, you're doing some different thresholds. So you know, day two has to be varied from day one. It can be lighter, it can be a different exercise, it could be a different training threshold, uh, there's a lot of a lot of things you can do to kind of vary it because variation is kind of the same as recovery. Variation allows you to recover as opposed to if it was the exact same stress or some greater stress. Um, the the third day has to be uh, varied from days two and days one. So that's what we see. Uh, we see the percentages increase. So you know lighter, seventy percent for more reps. The plus set denotes that the last set is to failure. So you get that extra bit of intensity, that extra bit of effort, and it makes it a fun game because you get to kind of chase old numbers. Grayscale LP is very similar to this. It's just, you start at a light three by five, the last set is as many as you can do, and every day you come into the gym, you add five or 10 pounds, and you're constantly trying to chase that last damn rap at a slightly heavier weight. So it, it creates kind of a psychological boost. You get a little competitive with yourself and it's very productive. You know, it's a good, does a good job of mixing effort with volume, which I really like. So because these are progressing all the way down, it, uh, five, three, one follows something simple. These, it's like these three week waves you run, except this is a three day wave uh, within one week. So light, medium, heavy, and then you reset just a bit heavier, light, medium, heavy, and you're still hitting that AMRAP and you're getting that extra effort. So this is a kind of cool blend of like a, a, a DUP split uh, with the AMRAP feature at the end. And then because it's a beginner program, Knuckles recommends auto-regulating using the AMRAP based off his recommendations to determine how much weight uh, you should add to your training max or if you should keep it the same. So every workout, you're gonna be recalculating your capabilities, which is kind of cool. Now this would work pretty much the same for a beginner as if uh, you could do the AMRAP set, but if instead of auto-regulating, you just added a set amount of weight, you could do this where you just arbitrarily add five pounds to your training max each week or five pounds to your working numbers. And you could also run that for a long period of time, but that's not Knuckles recommendation. That's just something that tends to work with most beginner novice programs like that. So now we get into the weeds and this is where things get a little gross. You're not gonna be able to see this too clearly. I'll zoom in, but you're gonna wanna like download his Excel sheet and look at it yourself. 
I did my best to give kind of a visual representation of what's going on. So he gives a moderate volume intermediate split because now we're going into some more advanced protocols here that have a lot of extra complexity. Some of it might be unnecessary complexity, but some of you like that. Sometimes it's kind of fun. It's a little different. It's definitely going to hit you differently. The, the difficulty, the effort kind of volume ratio is way different than what most of you have experienced. So all everything in black is the intermediate or sorry, the moderate volume intermediate split. Uh, everything in red is the uh, high volume. And he recommends doing the intermediate split first if you don't have experience with really high volume programs like this. And this is a very high volume program. So day one, you're benching uh, on the moderate volume. You're just doing a 75% five by five. Then you're going to 80% with 75% back offs, then 85%. And then week four, you'll notice all the way across is reduced workload. So it goes baseline, a little more, a little more work. And then week four is kind of a recovery before you reset and cycle through it again. Um, the difference with uh, the moderate and the high volume split is you add in this close grip work on day one. So it's gonna be this bench work along with this close grip work. That's a lot of work in a week, let alone in just one day of a three week split. So you can see how he's trying to acclimate you as you get more advanced. You run through the moderate uh, volume phase until you stop progressing, then you add in the extra volume. And by that time you're adapted to it and that'll give you an extra boost of stress to keep you growing. Now, when I was reading through this, this stood out to me from across the room. Uh, and I thought I was super smart because I'm like, oh, that's a Chico split. And then Knuckles lays out very clearly in his 14, day, uh, 14 page add-on that says this is a Chico inspired program. So he's not trying to hide it or snipe it or whatever. He says very clearly, this is inspired by Chico work. Um, this is a comparable amount of work to what you do with a Chico template or with like a Smolov template. And you can see basically the hallmark of Chico is you're gonna see a lot of sub-maximal work because he includes, I think, anything over 50% of your one rep max, he includes his relevant training volume. So you'll see him tally up your 50%, 60, 70, 80, all the way up. And all of that work going up and going down, even though it's for very low reps, I mean, 60% for six is nothing. 70% two by four is nothing. 80% two by three is nothing. So in this sense, it's a lot of set, so it's high volume in that aspect. But the work is very easy, it's just monotonous, and it's a total amount of sets that beat you down, but it's also what dials in your technique. You get very crisp technique. You get more dialed into the movement. There's a definite specificity benefit to this type of programming that very few people do when they don't uh, do this much practice with the same movement. Um, and then looking at staying with the moderate volume in black, uh, you see we, can, we add a ton of sets. You sneak in a 75% here for a couple extra sets. So we go, uh, this is nine sets. That's a ton of sets on week two versus the the five you had in week one, and then we go eight sets, but the uh, intensity is higher. We jump from 80% at the top to 90% for a couple singles. So average intensity is going up and volume is staying high. And then we have, this is kind of a reduced week to let you clear out before again, you recycle through. So this mess, it, it looks like a lot in writing. And then when you kind of chart out the difficulty of each set, you're like, that's not so bad, but then you get through it. It is a very different threshold uh, and I recommend everybody do something like it at least once because it, it definitely uh, adds, again, an element of technical practice that most of you don't get. And this is how you get really good with uber specificity. This is how you take one developmental lift and just make it work for you. And notice that you're not going to be tacking on a bunch of accessory to this amount of work. Uh, and then day three, it's about as simple as it gets, 80% for failure. And then Again, following Knuckles' recommendations, you might bump that set the next week or stay the same depending on how many reps you get. So we get this spread of like kind of moderately lower volume, but at higher weights to really high volume at a much lower difficulty to one all out, you know, intense set, intense in the set that it's one hard effort set. And uh, you can see that again, this is DUP. This is working different thresholds across different progressions and each progression builds off of itself across the weeks. So now as we go high volume, now we're adding in stuff. So I already said close grip gets added on to all of this. This is substitution. The high volume stuff just utilizes higher reps. So we're starting at 50%, but we're going eights, sixes, fours, twos, all the way up. Uh, here, we're doing a lot more sets, especially at the, uh, 
the higher thresholds, you jump to 85% sooner. Uh, you get to 90%, 85% for multiple sets. Um, so this is a much more substantial, uh, substantial mode of training with the Shiko based template. And then again on week three, instead of just doing one all out set, you're doing two sets, three sets, five sets of four. They're taking away the AMRAP uh, because the volume is making up for the difficulty there. And then at the very end, again, you reestablish a training max cycle through it again. That's still intermediate. That is still not quite advanced as, uh, as we generally think of it. And notice that it starts light and finishes heavy on that middle day. Going into the advance, and this is what you see in all of Shiko's templates, it's, it's a pyramid. You start light, you end up at whatever the top set is for the day, and then you work your way back down. So that extra volume on the back end adds quite a bit, and then Knuckles gets the reps higher than Shiko normally does, uh, from what I've seen. I, I'm, I could be wrong, but from what I've seen, Shiko keeps the reps pretty low across the board. But since you're already towards the end of the workout, he has no problem going more reps on the back down sets than you did building up. Uh, and then you finish, you know, with the sets of uh, 10, set of 12 for the hard week. You're just worried about getting heavy. You cut off the back down. So you see a lot of very specific training decisions here. And this is where we get hairy. This is where it gets hard to learn. It's like reading another language that you're not fluent in and trying to pull out the relevant information so you can learn because this all follows the same principles. This all follows the same principles of adding more work over time, adapting you to a stress. It just uses a lot of different methods to get there and kind of crams them together. So it's kind of a beautiful hybrid of all that. It's not entirely Shiko, it's not entirely DUP. It's a lot of all these different things at once. Uh, utilizes very linear progressions. I mean, there's a very simple LP uh, on day three. Uh, and then it utilizes more kind of convoluted complex methods of increasing the amount of work by strictly paying attention to the total number of sets you're doing kind of tapering up the weight slowly, slowly getting adapted to more stuff while maintaining all of this back, uh, back off work at the beginning that they front load you with. Um, yeah, a lot of complexity here. And I get torn with this because it's a very valid way of progressing. It's just not so obvious. So I always worry about the compliance aspect. I certainly wouldn't recommend somebody run through this until they've been training, not just training for a long time, but until you've demonstrated yourself that you can glue your ass to a program, see it start to finish. Because if you jump into this thinking that you're just gonna get a couple weeks in and be strong as shit, you got another thing coming. This is a grinder of a program. You gotta run through this. You gotta earn those jumps. And that's why it's recommended for advanced lifters. This is the point where you don't get 20 pound jumps every two or three weeks. This is a point where you have to run yourself through the meat grinder and you gotta fight for every 10, 15 pound jump you get every full cycle. Uh, and that's who that is specifically for. So for the rest of you, intermediate beginner guys, I recommend keeping it simple. Look towards more like what uh, Greg did in the two day per week or even one day per week recommendation for benching uh, because compliance is key. If you don't do the thing as it's written, if working all these percentages out every week doesn't appeal to you, you're not gonna finish it. So what the hell is the point, right? So go ahead and leave your questions. If any of you are familiar with Shiko type programs, go ahead and leave some comments, give some insight in the comment box or go ahead and start a thread on the forum, empire-forum.com. Uh, until next time, this is Bromley from Empire Barbell. I'll see you.